doesn't. I like watching golf. It's fun. Like it's you. There's so much like you, they're all mic'd up, so you can kind of hear their interactions with their caddies, and they're like giving their caddies a hard time or whatever. It's super fun. Like this guy's like hitting like a bad shot, and then like he's. walking through Philadelphia, like, playing a flute. <laughs> I don't think Andre 3000, like, wrote that down as, like, a New Year's resolution. <laughs> I think one day he was just like, you know, I'm just going to play this flute. Like, he could be doing anything. He could be making a million dollars right now, just, like, playing Heya for a sultan. <laughs> not even the whole album. Not even the whole Love Below. Just Heya. <laughs> But if you would see him in the Sultan's countries now, it's just because he's getting a flute that can talk to snakes. Like, that's <laughs> the only reason why you see him. I am, I feel like uh, I have changed a bit. Um, I moved, I moved recently to Chicago, uh, and I am from here in Philly, and people were concerned about me being out in Chicago, which is weird because, like, Philadelphia is not, like, a particularly soft place to live. <laughs> <laughs> From Philly to Chicago is just transferring prisons. <laughs> I got off the plane, I fought Chief Keith. <laughs> That's what I did. I <laughs> gotta establish dominance. I'm not like I'm not like a particularly tough person, but you know you gotta stay ready. <laughs> you have to. I don't. I mean, I'm not trying to fight anyone, but like, you know, I I've seen enough people who they it's clear that they can't fight, but they still have to be in the argument. <laughs> that like I just take after them. So if someone were to like step on my shoe, I'd be like, hey man, I'm not from here. <laughs> Which is not a threat, but it does put like a shroud of mystery over you. And that cloak of mystery might be able to get you out of a jam. It's like, is he from a place where they can fight? Is that, is, why, why would he say that? It's unclear. I didn't, I, um, me and my cousin went to uh, a movie recently. And I was like carrying like a, a bucket of popcorn from like the concourse to the theater, and like some kid like took a little bit of my popcorn. And it was like a fun. It's funny. It was fine. But like, it was, we. It was okay. It was okay. <laughs> but like, were that kid to like stick his whole hand into my bucket and then like eat it in front of me, like then we would have had a problem. And really, that's how fragile masculinity is. <laughs> Always one handful of popcorn away from World Star. <laughs> and just like a shaky video emergent, like they fight in Secret Life of Pets too. <laughs> just me getting stomped on. I uh, this is fun, it's fun to do. I I you know, my family knows that I do comedy now, which is you know, they're supportive, but sometimes too uh, you know, too much. A little too much sometimes. My my cousin was like, hey man, I see you're doing shows, but you gotta do next, you gotta get some merch for yourself, you gotta get like a t-shirt, and like, settle this argument for me. Well, we'll see who's right. But he's like, yeah, you gotta get a shirt with like your face on it, some of the dates that you've been doing around town. And I think that's like good advice, but I think people see like my face on a t-shirt like with dates on it. Um, okay, so you guys are on my side. Okay. <laughs> 
I mean, I'll tell Thanksgiving, I'll tell them. That's it. Like, I just think like people are going to assume that I'm dead. And I just don't. I don't. I don't want to send mixed signals out there. I don't want someone to see that shirt and just look like, oh, Ronald's having his funeral at Underground Arts? <laughs> what a great date. That's been my time, guys. Thank you so much.